G'day guys and welcome back to Ados the Great YouTube channel. So guys, in today's video, we will be going over how I went in finals week one and then giving you my finals week two tips. So four from four finals week one, bloody brilliant start for me. I tipped Collingwood to beat Melbourne. They got the job done. Very good win in that game. It was a very close game, very entertaining. I thoroughly enjoyed it, but uh, shout out to Collingwood. They moved straight through to the prelims. The next game was so entertaining to watch. Carlton against the Swans. A six-point win for Carlton. We got that tip right. Uh, the Swans just couldn't kick straight. Literally, if they could kick straight, they win this game comfortably, in my opinion. But uh, credit to Carlton. They get their first finals win there in what seems like a lifetime. They move on to the semifinals. Next up, we've, we had St. Kilda against GWS. I backed the Giants in this one. I thought they'd get a relatively good win. I think I said by about 18, they ended up winning this one by 24. So a good win there for the Giants. And I really think that that puts them in a good place for the semifinals. All right, the final tip was I backed the Lions in this one against Port Adelaide by 21 points. They ended up winning by 48. So strong win there for the Lions. And they just show that they continue this dominance at the Gabba, which is crazy. Insane. All right, finals week two. Here we bloody go. So first game of the round is Friday, 7.50 p.m. We have the Melbourne Demons taking on the Carlton Blues. Now, if we look at some history between these two teams, the Blues have won six out of uh, their last 10 games against the Demons. Crazy stat that, that goes in the Blues' favor. However, over the last 10 years, the Blues have a win rate of 34% at the MCG. The Demons have a win rate of 51%. So that goes heavily favoring the Demons in that one, and that is probably why they are relatively heavy favorites. Uh, look, I think this is gonna be an absolute classic of a, of a semi-final. I think it will go down to the wire. Uh, I went four from four for week one, had a few little bold takes there, and I'm gonna continue my bold takes here. I'm going Carlton to beat Melbourne and knock the Demons in straight sets. I know, insane tip there, but I honestly see this happening. So I am gonna tip Carlton to beat the Demons on Friday night. I think it'll be about an 11 point win. I don't think it'll be a flogging by any means. But I, I do see Cult moving on to the preliminary finals, which is slightly different to my original prediction, where I believe I had Melbourne going through to the prelims. But I just think, I definitely think Carlton can win this game. I know people are saying, you know, they, Harry Mackay is out. Look, I don't think that's that big of a loss to Cult, in my opinion. And I think that, I do think they're gonna win this. I really do. So I'm going a bit left field here. I'm back in the blues to beat the Demons. Uh, it is a change to my original finals prediction, but I do think this can happen. So that's my first tip, Carlton by 11. My next tip, so Port Adelaide against GWS. Port Adelaide have been dominant against the Giants. Power have won eight out of their last, uh, sorry, seven out of their last 10 games against the Giants. Uh, the average winning margin in the last three games for Port Adelaide over the Giants is 44 points. And uh, the, in the last 10 years, the Giants actually have a 44% win rate at Adelaide Oval, but you've got to remember a lot of those games are against Adelaide. I think Port Adelaide win this one, and I think they win it by at least three goals. I think they have a big bounce back from that uh, big loss to the Lions, and I think they get a three goal win in this one. So I'm gonna say 18 points. So again, to round out my tips, Carlton by 11, Port Adelaide by 18. Drop your tips down below in the comments, guys. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe. It really helps the growth of the channel. And as always, my friends, I will see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.